plants around us paves the way when you look around your house school or go to a nearby park you see different kinds of plants some are big some are small some are thick and some are tall most plants are green in color but a few may be yellow red or even purple paste the pictures of some plants that you see around in the given space and also tell their names and colors let's begin we find a variety of plants around us big and tall plants are called trees for example mango neem peepul etc they have hard and strong stems the stem of a tree is called trunk the trunk is usually brown in color a tree has many branches small plants with thin and woody stems are called shrubs for example wheat paddy tomato etc and small plants with soft and green stems are called herbs for example lemon tulsi rose etc these plants and trees are being cleared by the people for setting residential areas factories etc due to the increasing population people need more space to live and they are destroying the natural balance of the earth rapidly harmful impacts of cutting down of trees cutting down of trees causes numerous problems such as trees helps us in soil conservation when trees are cut the soil washes away with rain water such soil gets deposited in the rivers as a result the rivers become shallow and floods are caused the forests are the habitat of many wild animals and when we cut down trees such animals become endangered and extinct trees help in reducing pollution hence when trees are cut down the amount of oxygen in the air decreases and the amount of carbon dioxide in the air increases which can cause lungs and respiratory diseases plants are living beings they eat grow and breathe we should not exploit them to satisfy our own personal needs rather we should plant them more and more and take good care of them after planting we should give them water and manure we should pluck out weeds and grass time to time as they affect their growth ownership of plants in many houses people plant trees in their small lawns which are looked after by them the fruits vegetables and flowers grown in such lawns belong to that family only as they have the ownership of these plants similarly the crops grown on farmers land belong to them and they are the owners of farm lands these plants are also called domestic plants you must know plants that grow in forests or jungles are called wild plants they grow by themselves without taking much care but the tribal people who live in such areas depend on these plants for their needs they gather their food medicines spices ornaments etc and get occupation from such plant products the forests provide a spiritual and cultural home to the tribal people walk in a garden plants are an essential part of our lives they give us oxygen and take carbon dioxide they provide food perfumes fuels wood medicines etc to fulfill our needs when we walk in our garden we feel relaxed and close to nature the plants grown in our garden are looked after by us or we can appoint a gardener for this work plants help humans in many ways so it is the foremost duty of every individual to protect plants and automatically we can save our environment must try 
Make a list of the plants or trees that you see in your neighborhood. Also, tell who look after them and how. 